This video is sponsored by OWC. Here's everything new in iOS and iPadOS 15.5. And yes, I'm a little stuffy, so just bear with me here. Starting with a quick update to the podcast app, we have a new setting that allows users to limit the number of episodes that are stored on your phone. This will auto delete older episodes too in efforts to save space. In the Apple Pay cash section of the wallet app, there are now request and send buttons to make it easier to manage cash directly from the wallet app. Another little change here is that there is now Wi-Fi signal bars that let you ensure your HomePod has a connection in the home app. Universal Control was first launched back in iOS 15.4, but was heavily advertised as being a beta. But in iPadOS 15.5, Universal Control is no longer listed as a beta. The feature is fully officially launched. Apple in iOS 15.5 also added a list of sensitive locations to the Photos app, which means those locations are blocked from showing up in memories. Included on the list right now are various concentration camps and Holocaust memorials iOS 15.5 reintroduces Apple Music API that allows third-party Apple Music Player to change the playback speeds of songs. The API was removed in iOS 15.4, but it's now being put back in to iOS 15.5. Now, back in the iOS 15.5 beta release video that we did, uh, there were references to the upcoming Apple Classical app that Apple has in development to complement Apple Music. And we thought that the uh, new Apple Classical you know, application was gonna come out as part of the official launch of iOS 15.5, but that unfortunately has not happened. Now, there are still open in Apple Classical and open this in the new app designed for classical music code still inside of the music app. However, uh, this suggests that a launch could be in the not too distant future, perhaps maybe part of iOS 16. Apple is also continuing to build out its sports kit support as it's following the launch of Friday Night Baseball. And there are TV app mentions for reporting scores for different baseball innings. Now, before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC just released its latest drive, the Envoy Pro Mini. And this thing is wild. It's basically the performance of a full-size SSD in a tiny flash drive form factor. It's plug and play across all devices that support USB. USB type A or C, perfect for transferring audio, video, photos, games, you name it, all from device to device. It can work with Apple's Time Machine, and it's also ideal for those who want to expand storage on their gaming consoles like PS5 or Xbox Series X. I just love how small and compact this drive is. It's definitely all the perks of a flash drive, but with the performance of a full-size SSD. And so for more information about the Envoy Pro Mini or any other product that OWC has to offer, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.